Okay, I think we're live as soon as it was like counting down like three, two, one, and then it goes live and then like the sign, uh, whatever thing came up that said the connection was bad. So hopefully I'm live, we're actually online. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. So welcome, welcome Facebook Friday, Free Lychee Friday. It's another fabulous Friday, although the weather is not so fabulous. Feels really dark. Hi, Wendy, how are you? Good, I'm glad. Okay, I was just saying that when I first pushed go live, it was counting down, then all of a sudden I got like a screen that came up that my connection was bad. So good, okay, so you can hear me, you can see me. Good morning, good morning. So welcome, welcome. Oh, hi, Marianne. Oh, that's cute. She's saying, hi, Kim. I wonder, oh, I'm trying to see who else is on here. Maybe Kim's on here too, and I just didn't see that. So, well, hi, Kim, if you're on here too. Um, let's see, what is going on? We had, I've had like a crazy couple of, I don't know, days or weeks. I'm not really sure. Um, it's just kind of been the whirlwind. It's funny because I look back at my calendar and I'm like, why do I do that to myself? So last weekend we had the one day retreat, like an all day retreat um, at St. Mary's School here in Alma. And that was from like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I also threw in a stamp -a stack class there as well. And then, oh, oh, <laughs> how funny. Well, tell, tell Kim I said hi, Marianne. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> she said she was talking to Kim here in her home. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> Do you talk? Is that what, do you talk? Um, you know, when you make your comments, do you talk somehow and they show up or do you type them? I'm curious now to know how, how that happens. So keep me posted. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm always wondering. Um, Cause you, you do a lot of comments and I, I was wondering if you type them all or maybe you have a way to talk them. That would be very, very cool. Then tell everybody else how they can do that. Cause then we'd probably get lots and lots of comments then too, if it's an easy thing to do. Um, so, okay, what was, and then my train of thought goes crazy, right? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> it's your 60 plus 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 brain, I see. So you typed hi Kim, but you were actually saying it to somebody. I think I get it now. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do too, Marianne. I, yeah, no judgment there. I can see how those things happen, so. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we, we had an awesome retreat. I have got some stuff I want to show you guys from the retreat just so you can see um, what that's all about. Um, oh, I see. Yep, she types with lots of typos, Marianne says. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm always like going back, you know, to fix things. Um, and then actually last night we played bingo at the stamp studio, which was tons of fun. I had a great group of gals and I'm going to show you stuff from, uh, some things from bingo too. So I just have so much good stuff to show you guys. And then after we're done with Facebook live, I think I'm going to go take a nap because <laughs> I, well, no, I'm kidding. I won't take a nap, not on Friday afternoon, but I'm sleeping in tomorrow morning. Let's hope. <laughs> I need to catch up on um, get some energy back, I think. So, um, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, okay, I, um, I have to mention too, because I have kind of a heavy heart about this, our friend Joyce, her name is Joyce Swan, she is um, a good friend of mine that comes locally to our classes here in Michigan. She actually lived in Florida and then would come to Michigan for the summers and um, spend the summer with her daughter and her daughter's family. Um, recently, she moved actually to Alabama um, because it got kind of hard for her to live on her own in Florida. Um, so she's down in Alabama. She was fairly like kind of sick, not feeling that great a lot this summer. And just down in Alabama, she's seen some doctors that um, told her that she has lung cancer. So, oh, okay, sorry. Um, anyway, that was just kind of some big news for her and for anybody that knows Joyce. And I was talking with another friend of mine and I said, do you think it's okay if I mention it on Facebook, uh, on the live? Um, because Joyce has been a huge part of kind of our stamping family here locally. She, I don't think she realizes how many lives uh, she's touched coming to classes and just kind of spreading her spirit and her joy with everybody. So I thought this was a great way to kind of let everybody know that she just was diagnosed with that. Now, she did say when I talked with her that the doctor called it treatable. So that's awesome. You know, she was like, that's, I think she's really kind of hanging on that word. But Joyce, I just want you to know that I am thinking about you and praying for you. And I know now that other people know they'll be doing the same for you as well. So I just, I don't normally do this, but it's kind of, like I said, it's been weighing on me um, this week since I heard about that. So 
Yeah, thank you guys. I know, I mean, I think the kind of the positive spirits and the prayers that go out, God, actually, I think, you know, he really hears and listens to those. So uh, Joyce, you know, you're you're here with us. So anyway, oh, sorry. I'm like, ah, try not to get too emotional. <laughs> but sometimes it happens. But I just hate for her to have to go through, you know, all of that stuff that kind of comes with um, cancer and the treatment of, of it all. But we're, you know, we're just praying for you and... Um, yeah, I mean, just speedy recovery. So, um, and get rid of, get rid of all of that and Joyce and be healthy again. So we, we can't wait to have you back here in Michigan again. So let's see, Sandra, good morning. Sandra, how are you? I know you were kind of not feeling well, I think last week. So hopefully you're feeling better too. Um, yeah, I was saying we've got lots and lots of good stuff to share this week. So, okay, why don't we do, where is my, okay, I put all the names in the drawing my my paper pumpkin bag and it's not right here where it normally is so it's still in my craft room good i'm glad you're feeling better I was, that's awesome sandra okay so pause for like two i don't know two or three seconds i have to run and grab that bag i'll be right back okay bear with me here it is okay i'll be back <laughs> see this is what happens when you do a live thingy right it doesn't always work uh, quite, you know, the mistakes and all, right? The bloopers, whatever. Okay, so, oh, actually, hold on before I shake all these up. This is what we're giving away, and it's just like perfect timing. So this is the black glittered organdy ribbon. It's that awesome. I think it's a fun Halloween, but I, th I think you could have a lot of fun at Christmas time with that. It's just a gorgeous black glittery organdy ribbon. So that's what we're giving away today. One entry if you comment for every single comment and then three entries if you share the video. Just make sure you say something fun about the video so it entices people to want to watch too. That's my hope is that we find lots more friends to share our stamping fun with. And it, you know, like I always say, it helps my, my tiny stampin' up uh, personal business as well too, which I really greatly, greatly appreciate. Okay, so got a few in my hand here. I'm trying to make sure I only have one. Okay, just one. Oh my gosh, Kim. So can you guys see? I think it's backwards. Where's the glare? There she is. Miss Kim Klein is the winner. She has won so many times. I, well, she does a lot of commenting and sharing, so that helps. But congratulations, Miss Kim Klein. You are the winner of the black glitter organdy ribbon. I will have this down at the stamp studio for you to pick up so you can use it in case you want to use it for Halloween. Okay, um, let me get rid of these. Yeah, okay. So actually, what do we, I wanna show you guys. Oh, okay, so I thought this was kind of fun because I have um, still been using, right? So Fast Fuse kind of went away, got retired, and then actually Stampin' Up! said that the vendor that made Fast Fuse for them contacted them to say, okay, we have a bunch of extra leftover that we're not selling. Would you be interested in buying it from us? And then they put it on the clearance rack. So I have, now this is not from the clearance rack because I've actually had kind of a back stock of these, but that's what we're gonna give away is the Fast Fuse Adhesive. So this is the super strong adhesive. Uh, one entry if you comment and then three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. You get a chance to win a Fast Fuse adhesive and it's a brand new one because if anybody, if you've used Fast Fuse, you know it. that was kind of one of the issues is that it got really gummed up, but because it's a brand new one, it's going to run beautifully. And if you haven't tried Fast Fuse before, try it because I'm honestly not sure if it's still on the clearance rack, if it's available or not, but I have some left and I have refills left too. So if you win this and fall in love with it, I can get you some more. Or honestly, if you're interested in Fast Fuse or refills, just let me know because like I said, I do have some... Um, still in my stash. I'm using it until it's all gone. So anyway, one entry for commenting and three if you share the video. Okay, um, let's see now. I'm trying to see what else do we have going on. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm trying to like keep myself organized as usual, right? Oh, okay. So I want to do, well, hi, Tammy. How are you? Oh my gosh. Good to see you on Facebook Live. Hope everything's good with you. Um, okay, so quick shout out. I've been having so much fun doing this lately. Um, my latest 
Inkspired stamper Jerry Grover is her name. She just reached qualified recruit status um, at the very end of September. So that means she had $900 in sales after she bought the starter kit. And this is awesome, she gets a $25 shopping spree from me. So Jerry, pick whatever you would like as my thank you for reaching qualified recruit status, which is awesome. She's also halfway to Bronze Elite where she gets to get 25% off of all her orders instead of just 20%. So that's a huge savings. You know, when you put regular orders in, that additional 5% really adds up. So um, let's see. Oh yeah, Tammy, it has been a long time. I'm glad you were able to watch. I have been missing you. Yes, I'm glad you're able to watch today. So that's good stuff. Um, okay, oh, so we had um, just one online order last week, so I don't really have to like fake doing a drawing, right? Um, because she's the winner. So that goes to, well, what is she gonna win? The Hung With Care Host Stamp Set. This is such a cute one. It's funny because in the catalog, it didn't catch my eye, you know how that happens, but even just like looking at it here, these stockings are all so cute. I just, I love them. So. Of course, now I need the stamp set too, but isn't, it's funny because at classes and events, that's what everybody says. Oh, she's like showing us all this stuff. Now I'm gonna need it too. And I'm not immune to that either. It happens to me too. So anyway, Miss Sandra Johnson is the winner of the Hung With Care host stamp set for her online order last week. She also is gonna get the projects that I demonstrated on last week's Facebook Friday. So congratulations, Miss Sandra. And I think, um, yeah, her order was over $50, so she also gets a free embellishment. So you just get a ton. I don't know, I, I keep kind of wondering if people really understand how much awesome free stuff you can get with an online order. So you are so very welcome, Sandra. Thank you, I'm glad you're excited. I cannot wait. So make something with this stamp set and post it on our Facebook group because I cannot wait to see the fun that people are gonna have with that stamp set. It's just so cute. So, okay, oops, I don't wanna put that down there because I'll like misplace it. Gotta check my notes real quick here. Um, oh, okay, so do you guys wanna know? This week, if you put an online order between now and next Wednesday, I'll give you the host code when I move the camera down. Um, your name is gonna go into the drawing to win. I've got, this is kind of a two-parter. Um, okay, so the first, think like gift giving, either like, well, or treat making for Halloween, even for like kind of fall, Thanksgiving, or Christmas if you're getting in the mood for that. I know it seems a little early, but you can never um, be too ready for Christmas, right? Because I feel like every year I'm like making stuff kind of right now, like, oh, I've got lots of time. And then of course, December rolls around and then there's no time to get anything done. So do your Christmas stuff now, right? So you could do your Christmas stuff meaning if you put a, an online order in your name goes in the drawing to win these are the so that's all in the little package these are the craft pillow boxes you can see them kind of packed up there you get oh my eyes 10 of the craft pillow boxes and you may remember I've showed this a few times but this is an example of one of the pillow boxes opened up I forgot oh hold on I happen to have them I have a couple right here in a little Halloween treat um, haha, -ha. <laughs> what do I want to say? Well, it's like my little stash that I happen to walk by all the time, so these things don't last very long. But probably, well, I think I put two of these little Kit Kats in there, two, maybe even three fit perfectly. Any of the, um, probably like the little Halloween size candy would fit perfectly in this pillow box. So that's one of the things now not all this you're, you're gonna win this package but i wanted you to see how cute they are like when they come out of the package and you put a cute little tag on them and then there's that glittered organdy ribbon that kim just won if you can see that and then of course you have to fill them with candy right well how could you not <laughs> okay so that's half of it then the other half that you are going to win or could win if you put an online order in these i was trying to make sure i had the name these are the striped treat bags okay and in this pack, oh, you get 10 of these also. So this would be fun. You could make 10 little treats. You could kind of do like a little combo type of thing or make 10, you know, for 20 people, right? Um, what's my point? Oh, so, okay, sorry. <laughs> brain freeze, brain moment, whatever. 
So here, I wanna show you guys. Oh, Marianne, thank you for the share. This is an example of what you could do to make one of those treat bags, those striped treat bags, like super duper cute. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to hold it up. Well, I'll show you this. So here, I got a couple of these little, um, those are like um, a chocolate. What I loved, honestly, was the stripe on the top. I thought it worked really well, like with the rest of the bag. So that's basically, I was like, okay, I'm sure everybody will love these at Bingo. And like I said, the main reason was just because they look so cute in the bag. Kind of falls down when I put it that way. When I had them all laid on the table so you could see it a little bit better. But can you guys see all the fun that I had with this like decorating the treat bag. So this is a stamp. It says, I gotta pull one of these out because it's making it feel funny. It says, here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer. So I'll show you that stamp, right? That is from, I think it's called the First Frost stamp set. And then these are the framelits. So they've got a couple of labels. So one's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit bigger. And then you see these fun spriggy things. This is another one of the framelits that's in there. So I use some gold foil. I really like the striped ones too. Hi Susie, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. And then this is the new sparkle. So it's kind of like the old dazzling diamonds. This is the sparkle glimmer paper. So I cut a couple of those little sprigs out. Again, it's the same framelit set as cut out that piece right there. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Marianne. I just, I love all the bling and fun. And then here, this is one of the gold library clips, if you can see that. I added some of the fresh fig ruffled ribbon, and then I couldn't stop. I loved these little, these are the iridescent boxwood wreath embellishments that are part of that whole suite. Hi, Susie. Um, so anyway, I just, I like had so much fun. I love decorating these things and then finding cute stuff to go inside. So maybe you could do something like this, right? If you put an online order in and you win both of these things. So we'll do the drawing for these guys on next Friday's Facebook Live, okay? So you get your name in the drawing with at least a $30 online order. That's it, so you get awesome. I, I'm trying to remember the value of both of these. Um, I don't know, maybe around $15 total. Um, thank you, Susie, I appreciate that. Um, I don't know if you heard me say this was one of the treats that I gave everybody at bingo last night. So everybody got this. So I, I always, they were teasing me because I'm like, I guess I'm one of those people where I feel like everything has to be fair. And you know, when you go to bingo, like not everybody always wins at bingo. And that's like, they're like, Amy, when you go play bingo, that's really how it is. You're like there for the fun of playing bingo and being with everybody, but you don't always win at bingo, right? Well, that kind of makes me sad. So I have to give everybody a treat for coming. And then they also got, I didn't cut up any more of this, but this is the Frosted Floral Specialty Designer Series paper. So when I, I was starting to say I didn't cut it because I gave everybody kind of a sampler. It was like a six by 12, so half of this, of all of the sheets of Designer Series paper. I have to show you guys in here because um, it's beautiful paper. So, and it was fun because I kind of laid the paper out on the table. Am I gonna be able to get these? I was trying to kind of pull them apart so I could show you. Um, and then put the striped treat bag over top of it and it looked so good together. I will post pictures of all of that. I just kind of got the pictures taken so I haven't had a chance to post anything. Like I said, this has been a little crazy lately so trying to like, well, and like the weather hasn't been very good and I'm kind of, um, I really like to take pictures when it's like not super dreary and like cloudy. So sometimes it's hard around here to get good pictures because um, I have to wait days before the weather gets good to be able to take a picture. But anyway, so this is the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. So they got a six by 12 um, of each of these basically. And then I laid this little guy on top. So that's what they got at their table when they, they came to bingo. So we had lots and lots of fun. I cannot wait to play bingo again. Um, yeah, we just had a great time last night. So fun group of ladies. Um, okay, so I'm gonna scoot those over there. Checking my notes. <laughs> you're so funny, Marianne. She says, you're the best, Amy. So generous and kind. Well, that's very sweet of you. I, well, yeah. You're just, you're pretty darn sweet too. <laughs> That's awesome, Marianne, thank you. 
Um, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, so just to kind of remind everybody, next week is the Simple Beautiful card class down at the Stamp Studio. So that is the second Wednesday of every month. So do I have my dates? I think it might be May 10th. No, not May, we're in October. October 10th, so Wednesday, October 10th, anytime from five until nine, and Friday the 12th from one until three. We make four cards at that class. It is a $15 fee or free with an order at class that day. So let me know if you're interested. I'm trying to get, hi Sunday, how are you? I'm trying to get lots of people signed up for class. I've got, we're playing with annual catalog product, holiday catalog product. We've got lots and lots of awesome, fun stuff to play with. So I always say, come to card class, play with my stuff, and then decide what you need or what, you know, sometimes you see things in the catalog and then you play with them and you're like, oh, I guess I don't need that. And then the same thing happens the other way where something you never even noticed in the catalog, you play with it and then you can't live without it. So come hang out and play with me next week at, week at card class and play with all my stuff and then decide what you need or what you don't need. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Oh, I know I mentioned last week, um, so September 30th was the last day of our Stampin' Up! calendar year. So October 1st starts a brand new year, so we're just starting our next, you know, new 12 months basically. But I just wanted to say thank you. I had a great year last year, again, that ended on September 30th. I kind of put a, um, a shout out there to see if I could kind of get one last push to meet a sales goal that I was trying to reach by September 30th. And I was able to do that thanks to each and every one of you, my very loyal and wonderful customers, and my downline too. So thank you for everything that everybody does to help support me in this Stampin' Up! business. And hopefully you feel that gratitude. I hope I do show you, um, you know, lots of great projects and inspiration and give you lots of thank yous and lots of different ways for your orders. So just, I really appreciate your business and I'm looking forward to a great year this year coming up as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, one more thing to tell you guys about before I move the camera. We have um, that World Card Making Day. It's funny because even in all of our um, information, I'm pretty sure it's this Saturday is the World Card Making Day, but they did for like the whole week, we've had this World Card Making Day sale. And I have, um, I posted links here on our Facebook group. I posted a link on thegatheringinspiration.com on my blog. So you can find those links, or if you just go to stampinup.com, I'm sure that one of the tabs kind of on the left-hand side will, will say something about World Card Making Day so that you can see what's on sale. Because there's a bunch of stuff that is 10% off. Some of the things were while supplies last. Now I know Sandra had mentioned that she ordered the dimensionals like at the early part of this week and they were already on low inventory. I have not had a ch chance to look and see. Those may have already sold because they don't actually sell out. I think what they do is they like have a certain quantity that they say, oh, okay, we're gonna sell these and give 10% off. And when that quantity is done, then it's sold out basically at that price. So there might be a thing or two that's sold out. But anyway, you still have a couple days is my point. So check it out, see if there's anything that you need. You might as well order it now because you get your discount. And then, oh, Sandra's saying, yep, they're on back order. Good, see, you're helping me keep on top of things. Like I said, it's just kind of some weeks <laughs> Although it seems like every week of my life, I'm like, whoo, keeping your head like just a, just above water, I guess. the water would, if, I'm, if the water was up here, I'd be in real trouble. It's right about here most, <laughs> most of my life. <laughs> so thank you, Sandra. Um, so you can't get dimensionals, but I'm sure there's other awesome stuff that you can get. But that sale goes through this Sunday. So And then, like I said, if you put that online order in, your name's going to go on the drawing to win these awesome freebies, plus the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a few moments. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm ready to move the camera. So, ooh, I gotta find grid paper at some point. It's underneath here somewhere. We'll worry about that in a minute. I'm not gonna, we don't need that yet. Actually, the one thing I am gonna do, let's put that thing there. Okay, so turn your heads away for a quick sec while I flip the camera for us. We can see more good stuff. Okay, very quiet, right? Sometimes I think I ought to have music or something. Okay, so this is the new host code. 
If you put in an online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you're going to get the projects that I demonstrate and your name goes in the drawing to win those striped treat bags and the pillow boxes. This is the host code. It's UCQEVD29. This is also at gatheringinspiration.com. If you ever don't have it, hop on over there. You can grab it. It's on that right-hand side toolbar. If you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. So lots and lots of free stuff with your online orders. Um, okay, what do I want to show you guys? Ooh, okay. So you know how I said we had the one-day retreat last Saturday? I have to show you. So this is basically, I say, a goodie bag. I don't actually put it in a bag because I I tend to get so many bags. Maybe not everybody has that many, but I tend to not spend the money from the fee on a bag. I like to give you more stuff that you can play with. So that's what we did here. So this goodie bag basically included, you can see it's the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper that is part of our um, product of the week, the Festive Farmhouse Suite. They also received, I had to decorate this cute little, this is this one's from Santa, cute little tag that had the burlap ribbon in it. I think it's a striped burlap ribbon, they call it. Also part of the Festive Farmhouse suite. And then these are the Festive Farmhouse elements, they're called, I wanted to make sure. So can you see there are these fun wooden elements that say Mary, Joy, Noel. And then they've got these cute little Christmas trees and stars and then maybe, a, oh, I was gonna say circles, but that, that's the top of the joy, so forget that. <laughs> I guess you could use it separately. Um, and there are two sheets of them. They're just kind of like a gray wash to them, and they're actually really, really cool. I'll show you more about those in a sec. What else did they get? They also got a pack of the metallic pearls. And then, of course, I had to make a little treat for everybody. This was the, I think I showed you guys this last week on Facebook Live. This was the demo, one of the demos that I did. So they got this little sucker holder with one of those caramel apple suckers that fit in there perfectly. And then I love doing this. I didn't used to do this in the beginning, but I think it's so fun to make these little name tags that of course coordinate with everything in the suite or in the goodie bag, I guess I should say. So this is more of the festive farmhouse designer series paper. There's some of that striped burlap. Can you see I used that corrugated embossing folder right there? And then one of those cute little galvanized clips with some black baker's twine. And this one is for Rose. So she was so kind. She actually kind of at the last minute wasn't able to come. So I said, Rose, I'll get you everything from the retreat. Um, but I was like, do you think I could hold on to it for a few days and show everybody on Facebook Live? And she was so kind to say, sure, you can do that. So she's going to pick up all of her stuff um, next week. So <laughs> yeah, that Rose, she is adorable, isn't she? She's very, very sweet. <laughs> and the plaids, yes, I love the plaids. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that product of the week that I've been doing. I've been having tons of fun. I think it really helps kind of highlight, you know, you get kind of mucked up in all the details of everything that's in the catalog, but just to kind of focus on one thing each week has been a lot of fun for me and hopefully for you guys too. So, okay, so this was basically everything that they received when they walked in the door that morning for the retreat. And then later on in the day, I think it was probably after lunch. I had to give everybody another little treat. So can you see, these are, I think they're Little Debbie. They're like those Nutty Buddies. I love these things. Um, so yeah, I'm always looking for fun treats to give everybody. And this is just some more of the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper. Basically just wrap it. I used my Fast Fuse because that works really well to hold everything together. Wrap some of this right burlap ribbon around. Made a bow. This is totally separate, this bow. And then I just tacked it right on there with glue dots. And then the thankful stamp. I think that's from the Falling for Leaves stamp set. A little bit more designer series paper. And then a couple of the gold metallic pearls. I like to use things that are in their goodie bag. Kind of, if I can, you know, with the designer series paper and so on. To show projects that you could make with everything from your goodie bag. And then, with that being said, I also with the make and takes that everybody makes. I like to show how you can use the product in your goodie bag for these as well. So these were the four make and takes that everybody got to make. So these, that is the, the joy and those little trees are from those festive farmhouse elements. 
more of that burlap ribbon, the plaid. I love the little galvanized buttons. And then this, if you guys haven't used it yet, this is the softest cotton twine you will ever feel. It comes in vanilla, and I think it's cherry cobbler, and it's either garden green or mossy meadow, one of the deep greens. But So that was one. I try to keep them fairly simple. They're there for 12 hours, which sounds like a lot of time, but you know, we all bring way more than we're ever gonna get accomplished in 12 hours, at least I know I do. So I try to keep the make and takes fairly simple so they can pop over and do these and then get back to whatever they brought for the day. So there were four make and takes. This is the next one. You can see that corrugated embossing folder works so well. And oh yeah, here's more of that um, cotton baker's twine. It is mossy meadow, I can tell you that for sure now. And I love that plaid with more of those little metallic pearls. And the fun thing is, so they use their designer series paper, they use their metallic pearls, they use um, those elements as well on their make and take. So they're actually opening everything up and using it and playing with it. And I think that kind of inspires you to do even more with them. And then here's the next make and take, more of the um, designer series paper, the twine, Actually, that's that baker's twine and cherry cobbler, the cute little Mary, and then a couple of teeny tiny little stars on there. And then here's the last one. This one I went a little bit crazier with, um, a little bit more detail, I guess I'd say, with some die cutting. May your Christmas be holly jolly and bright, and then more of those metallic pearls with some of the sprig. That sprig punch is really fun. I think something about that kind of dainty detail um, I'm really enjoying those. So I think everyone loved the make and takes. Um, yeah, we just had a great time at, um, at the one day retreat. So if you're interested, the next one day retreat is on Saturday, April 20th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You get the goodie bag, you get the treats, you get that cute little name card, you get make and takes, and then you get to do whatever you want all day long. And then I feed you all day long too, so you don't have to worry about anything. You basically get to sit and craft and play and chat with people around you if you want, or you can be super focused and just get everything done that you brought. So it's a great day, and I'd love to have you join us. Saturday, April 20th will be the next one, okay? Um, all right, I gotta check my notes. Always, oh, okay, so now I wanna show you guys I have just filmed my video on this next. This is the holiday stamp -a stack and I'm calling it a class to go as well because I want everybody to know that there's a to-go kit version too. So bear with me one sec. Well, hi, Nikki, how are you? I haven't seen you on here in a little bit. I'm glad you could join us. Well, hi, Philomena, hello. It's so good to have you guys with us. Hmm. Okay, I had to get my quick sip of water there. So I wanna give you details. I know I've been talking. So we had that last holiday stamp -a stack I'll show you those cards next week. I don't think I brought them over here. Um, but we had one of our stamp -a stacks last Saturday. The next stamp -a stack is on Thursday, October 25th, 6.30 to nine at the stamp studio. If you can't come to the live class, I'm gonna tell you about the to-go kit version also. But let me show you. So this is the stamp set that we'll be using at that class. The Dashing Deer stamp set has some great sentiments. You've got the, what does that say? Remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. There's a happiest Christmas wishes, many merry thanks. And then this is a nice one. With appreciation for all you do and for your year round spirit of giving and then a bunch of awesome reindeer images. And then of course, the set of framelits that cut out the reindeer images on the stamp set. This one does too, and then actually, we're gonna use this one today. It's got like the flying reindeer with all the fun um, antlers. It's beautiful. Okay, so that stamp is at class is, the class fee is $40 to get the stamp set, and then we're gonna make 12 cards, three of each of these four cards. If you would like to get the thinlets in the class as well, that's an additional $33 fee. So I guess 40 and 33, so that's $73 to get the stamp set, the framelits, and 12 cards. That's at the local live class, okay? 
You don't have to get the frameless though. I'll have those there at class so you can use mine too if you just want to get the stamp set. I also do substitutions also. So if you want to come and make these cards but you don't want to actually get the stamp set or framelits, you can substitute for their product value in the class as well. Now the to-go kit version, let me, I need to explain that one a little bit more. And that's the one, I did do a YouTube video. I'm gonna have it uploaded in the next day or two. So if you forget any of these details, you can always pop on over. And I'll have email and links on my blog too. But here's the basic idea. For the class to go, the Dashing Deer stamp set and the detailed Deer Thinlets are part of option number one, plus the full t PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step how to put these cards together. These are the actual cards that we're gonna be making. So here's that awesome flying reindeer. So you will actually make three of this card. In the to-go kit, I will die cut and emboss and give you everything that you need. You just have to do your own stamping. On this one, I think I just stamped on the inside. This remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything, Mary, okay? And then you're gonna make three of this awesome. I love the detail on that stamp there too. So the fun um, reindeer and then the many merry thanks. Again, I'll do all the die cutting and embossing. You just have to do your stamping on the to-go kit version. This is another fun one with more of that awesome plaid, um, the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper, and then Mary with the little reindeer. And then one more, I just could not, I wanted to stamp this on every single card basically because I love all the detail on that reindeer. And then this one says, happiest Christmas wishes with one of the little sprig punches and then another little flower. Okay, now in the to-go kit version, you need to do your own stamping. So you need to make sure you have these color inks if you want everything to coordinate, okay? We have the gray granite ink pad, the cherry cobbler ink pad, the tranquil tide ink pad, and the early espresso ink pad. Those are the four ink colors that you'll need to complete your cards in the to-go kit version. Did I tell you? I don't think I did yet. Um, this option number one with all of this is $78. Option number two is if you don't want the detailed Deer Thinless, you just want the Dashing Deer stamp set, and then all 12 cards and the PDF tutorial, that one is $45. Now, actually, RSVPs are due for this Dashing Deer class to go by Monday, October 15, and then the to-go kits will actually ship out by October 26. So you'll still have plenty of time to get your holiday cards made and ready to go. Um, option number, I do have a couple of other options. If you just want the PDF tutorial, that is option number three, and that is always $15. That basically just tells you step-by-step step how to cut everything, how to emboss, um, stamp, what colors, measurements, everything that you need to know to make these cards on your own. That is $15, and it's always available even after the RSVP deadline is done. And then the last option is option number four. That's for anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group, in my downline group. And anybody can join. Anybody can become a member of our Inkspired Stampers group at any time. So say if you bought the starter kit today, you'd be an Inkspired Stamper. And then you could get this option number four. Basically, you get all of the parts and pieces to make all 12 make and takes. You need to do your own stamping. So you have to get your stamp set to do your own stamping. I want you to do that through your own demo ID though so you can get your discount, right? So it's $18 for all 12 uh, cards, the make and take supplies for those. So let me know if you have any questions, if you're interested and I can get you a to-go kit, okay? Or if you're interested in the live class, that one again is on Thursday, October 25. All RSVPs are due by Monday, October 15, though, for the live class and the class to go, okay? So let me know if I have any questions as well. All right, let's see. What else? Let me make sure. Oh, okay, one more quick thing to let you guys know about. So I know I was talking about the um, one-day retreat that we had here in Alma, Michigan, now, the weekend retreat is coming up. That's actually in Lansing, which is about an hour south of us here. But anybody's welcome to come from wherever you are. Um, that retreat is on, where are my notes? It's all jumbling together. It's on November 17th through the 19th in Lansing, Michigan. If you have any interest, let me know. I will put the link in the comments to this YouTube video. Um, but I'd love to have you guys get signed up for that. We Same idea where you get a goodie bag, you get make and takes, we feed you all weekend long. That one you literally don't even have to get out of your pajamas if you don't want to because you can go sleep in your hotel room and then walk through the hotel and it's 
it's such a quick, easy, like from your room to the um, to the conference room where we have our um, retreat set up. So you can stay up all night long if you want to. We've got like music kind of playing in the background and movies. And so it's lots and lots of fun. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think I, I was going to show you guys the bingo stuff, but I already showed you that. So, okay. Um, all right. I got to find my grid paper. And then... Oops, I don't want to bump anything. I think I've got some right here. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Let me scoot this guy up out of the way. So is everybody doing okay? It's kind of dark in here. I was hoping that it feels like there's quite a shadow here. Although it's funny, it seems like a lot of times when I'm looking at it, it looks worse than it really is like when I see the replay back. So hopefully that's the case and it's not even bothering you all. Um, but okay, I'm going to show you. So these are the demonstration that I'm doing today are the actual make and takes that we made last night at Bingo. So quick sip of water and I will show you what we're doing. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Here is our first card. More of that festive farmhouse designer series paper in that burlap. I have just been having so much fun. It's funny how I kind of get stuck on something and then I play with that for a while and then move on to the next thing. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. One of them anyway. And this was actually a swap card that I received from a swap that I participated in. This was um, from Rhonda Wade did this swap and it was just so cute. And I always like to mention because this is a great thing to know. This is a piece of designer series paper. It measures three inches by four inches. So it's perfect when you look at like a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. You can actually get 12 of these pieces out of one sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So it's a great use of your designer series paper too. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that up out of the way and we'll get our parts and pieces out here. Let's see, I actually have two of those. Okay, let me show you what we are using. Oh my gosh, so this is kind of a newly discovered stamp set and framelit set for me. It didn't catch my eye in the catalog, of course, and then I got the swap, and then I had to, well, we played with it a little bit, too, at a convention that I went to um, that other weekend, so that helped kind of seal the deal. But, so super cute stamp set, not just for Christmas. Obviously, they've got the Christmas tree, but they've also got the hearts and the presents, and you can see, you could stamp like a lighter color, and then the more kind of the outline image over top of it. Looks really, really cute together. We are using that little just for you stamp on our card. And then on the inside, I stamped the Christmas greetings, but they've also got the baked with love, with all my heart, and you sweeten my day. And then some other fun kind of detail and embellishments for your stamps. And then this is what really kind of sealed the deal for me. These sweetly stitched framelits are so cute because, and you'll understand a little bit more, like the present, it cuts out the present, but then it etches in the stitching kind of around the edge of it. Same with the heart. I haven't used the little kind of rickrack. I'm kind of excited about those. There is that um, snowflake, and then the um, trees are the ones we're using. So let me grab those out. We will use those. Maybe we'll do, I think we can do our die cutting. Let's do that, because I've already gotten enough stuff out and then I get all confused about where everything is. So you can kind of see. So this is the one that has the ridges that cuts everything out. Can you kind of see the ridges there? And then this is the one that you're gonna put inside that has the stitching detail on it. Okay, so we're gonna grab a piece of our Mossy Meadow cardstock and our Big Shot. Okay. That guy right on there. Got my magnetic platform as usual with these thinlets and framelits. I'm gonna grab my cardstock. Now I found that it's easiest to put that piece down first because sometimes the magnetic field's kind of pulling it all over the place and then lay this one down and then you just want to make sure it gets kind of evenly spaced around there, okay? So this is what is going to die cut it and put the stitching. Now, if you didn't want the stitching, you just wouldn't use that inside one and you just, so you could make some really fun, you know, like a, with a bunch of Christmas trees or something with just that outline, this one right here, right? And then this is the one that's kind of stuck in there. So can you see the stitching? Isn't that so cute? So again, there's a heart and a present as well, okay? All right, so let's get these guys out of the way. I know we have more die cutting to do on the next card, so try to 
keep this so it's ready to go for the next one. Okay. Um, let me grab my scissors and adhesive too. Okay. I think, what else? Oh, we've got lots of stuff here, don't we? Okay, I'm going to pull it all out now. And my ink. And then we used a couple of punches too, which I love to do. I still... I love the punches just because they're so quick and easy, especially for a swap when you have to make a whole bunch of them, right? Okay, so my other little trick is for this Starburst punch right there, we are gonna use our Starburst punch and that piece of Cherry Cobbler cardstock, we're gonna punch right in the middle because all we need are the outside edges. I know I've showed you guys that trick before, but it's kind of fun. So nobody has to know that that punch came right out of there little paper saving trick for you and then with our two inch circle punch we just need a circle punched out of our very vanilla cardstock so I'm going to do that one there okay good so those I'm going to scoop right out of the way now you guys want to know measurements too I bet so let's let's do those okay the constant organization it never ends for me <laughs> okay so here's our card base Right, our piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. Let me make sure we're in view, right? Yep, okay, so we have our 11 inch side we cut in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card as always, right? Then this is for the inside of the card, very vanilla piece that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's kind of my standard. Because this is so dark, you know, you wouldn't be able to see. If you tried to write on the inside of this card, it's hard to see, right? So we'll put a vanilla piece in there and it'll be easier to see. Then our cherry cobbler piece measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter inches. And then, <laughs> yes, measurements. Marianne says, you got it. And then three inches by four inches is our festive farmhouse designer series paper. So there's the back side too. You could have, that would be fun also. I still love the plaid. So we're gonna keep it that way, but that's the other side with the kind of snowflakey stars. So we're gonna add our adhesive on here. Pop this guy right on here. Just make sure I just don't press too hard until it's on there and I know I have it where I like. We're gonna grab some of our burlap ribbon, our striped burlap ribbon. We just need a little bit more so that we can kind of tack it around the back there. That one there. Okay, scoot our ribbon out of the way. This just kind of goes right through about the middle of our card. And if you kind of press on this, because it's pretty sturdy ribbon, but if you press on it, it kind of creases it almost. I am going to use my Fast Fuse. Make sure you flick your wrist if you still have Fast Fuse or if you happen to win it. Okay, I always have to do a quick double check to make sure it didn't go like that when I and I flip it over, right? Okay, so that still looks good, it looks straight. I'm gonna use some of that, pop that down there, okay? Now, I want to use dimensionals that I totally forgot. Okay, I gotta run and grab those. Hold on, one sec. All right, here I come. <laughs> All right, I got a whole stack of, we got bunches of them. I don't know if I need the little ones too, so I grabbed all of them. All right, so we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this guy right here. Okay, um, let's see, why don't we do our stamping while I'm thinking about that too. Okay, so we have our Mossy Meadow ink, right? Oh, Marianne's saying she's so glad they brought the Mossy Meadow cardstock back. Yes, I love Mossy Meadow and I love the Blackberry Bliss. Oh my gosh, uh, that is one of my absolute favorites. But yes, I love this Mossy Meadow. That, those were a couple of in colors that were all part of the same group. Okay, so we had our, I did, you guys see that, our little just for you. I stamped down there. Now we're gonna, <laughs> so that burlap, it does kind of shed a little bit. We're gonna do our Christmas greetings, straight down and straight up. Okay, that one looks good. Oh, let me grab my chamois. I always have my note that says, use your chamois. Hopefully it's a little bit wet. It is, it's getting very hard around the edges, but it's still wet in the middle. So we'll just do it right here. Isn't that awesome how it cleans it off so nicely? Somebody was saying they didn't like theirs. They were at class and I, I was kind of cleaning up and I'm like, well, why? And as she was watching me do this and I was showing her, you know, stamp on there and there's not even a shadow. I think she wasn't, 
using it right somehow because by the time I got done cleaning up, she's like, all right, I got to get my chamois back out and give it another try. Okay. Mm, let's see. We can put this on the inside of our card. Let's do that. Okay. Doesn't matter. There's no front or back, right? Yep. I didn't. I didn't put my little label on the back there yet. Let me make sure, put that down there, okay? So we got that one. We're gonna put this guy, we can do this one right on there now too. Peel off our dimensionals. Oh, what's Marianne saying? That year the ink colors were the best they've ever been. Oh yeah, so you like those really deep, rich colors, don't you Marianne? Because I think all of those, it's funny how some years they feel kind of more fall, wintry, and some years they feel more summery, kind of spring summery. And that year was definitely, oops, more kind of fall, wintry feel on those colors, I remember. They're all beautiful, right? It's always just fun to have a new kind of set of colors to play with. That's why I think this has been such a fun year too. I'm just gonna snip that to have all of those new colors to play with. Every once in a while you need that reinvigoration, right? Okay, so we are just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to our very vanilla, what was this, a two inch circle fits perfectly right on that little starburst okay now i want a couple more dimensionals to put behind my tree okay popping that right on here and pulling off those dimensionals okay so that guy goes on there then i think i did put a couple more dimensionals it's almost easier oh there's my little just for you i probably would have like flipped that off who knows where okay so we're going to add just a little bit of adhesive right there so pop that just for you kind of peeking out from behind our tree that guy there pull off these dimensionals very so super simple but i love i mean the coordination of the colors and the cardstock and the designer series paper the ribbon well hi mary happy friday to you too i'm glad you could join us all right and then these are the frosted and clear epoxy shapes. So here, these are the frosty ones. So you can see they look, they look a little bit frosty, right? And then these are the clear ones in a couple of different, it's like three different size circles, kind of a small, medium, and a large. And so last time I used a frosty, so this time I'm gonna use a clear. We're gonna pop that. And this is another one of those, where's my take your pick tool? Ha <laughs> ha, thank you, Susie, I appreciate that. So that is it. There is one of our cards, the little just for you with our Christmas greetings on the inside. Love the burlap. Love all the coordination of everything. So hopefully you enjoyed that card. And I have one more to show you guys. Okay, scooting these things over here. Okay, so now this last one is going to help you really, really want that new... Um, class to go or come to the Dashing Deer stamp -a stack class. So this is another card that you could make with the products that you get from that class or the to-go kit. Thank you, Marianne. So can you see, we did, we, this one's a little bit more involved. Not, I mean it is, but it isn't because we used the, um, the subtle embossing folder. Can you guys kind of see some of that texture? And then this beautiful leaping reindeer with the copper foil. Oh, let's see. Sandra says, I am doing the tiny cherry cobbler bows in the farmhouse suite. And my, <laughs> my take your pick tool has been amazing. Thank you. I, it's so funny how every time I'm doing this live, I'm like, oh, I should be using that. I tend to just kind of use my fingers, but sometimes it's a little bit harder for people to do that. So I can see a need to, um, yeah. So the little tiny bows, I'm going to have to see in the festive heart. I'm gonna to have to figure out what those are because I'm not, those are not coming to my mind right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna to have to check those out. So anyway, Sandra's saying you need though, the take your pick tool if you use the little, the tiny cherry cobbler bows in the festive farmhouse suite. <laughs> Thanks Sandra, I appreciate that. Okay, so let's see, back to the card. We use some of, this is more of the ruffled ribbon from the in color, that is the Tranquil Tide ruffled ribbon. Some of that beautiful Joyous Noel designer series paper that has kind of the copper foil accents. 
Oh, and you love the reindeer. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you very much. You might want to get that uh, Dashing Deer Class to Go kit then because you'll have lots of fun playing with this reindeer and all the other ones in there too. Um, let's see. And then these are the little leaf, the leaf punch. We did a couple of those. So let me show you how to put this guy together. Okay. Oh, and actually, let me back up, because this was actually a swap that I received. So I changed mine just a little bit. I put the Tranquil Tide base, and then I did some white on the inside. Oh, here's the stamp. It says, remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. So that's from that Dashing Deer stamp set. I better grab those out of that. Ooh, and I need my Tranquil Tide ink. So I have those all stashed away in my to-go kit. Kind of display but i need them for this class oh so back to what i was saying whoo squirrel moment <laughs> oh philomena the yes the copper foil it is gorgeous isn't it so my point was this was a swap that i received from joey hartman is her name and i have to tell you i have gotten swaps from joey hartman in the past and love like every single time she does a project i love what she's done so check her out her website is stampingwithjoey.stampinup.net. So if you're ever struggling for ideas, check out her website and she might have some fun projects on there for you. Um, oh, hey, Sean, yes. Oh, that's so funny. I think, did I tell you that? So Sean came to Bingo last night. I don't know if I mentioned at Bingo that I was gonna be demonstrating the cards that we made at Bingo on Facebook Live today. But thank you, Sean. I enjoyed having you there. And she brought her mother-in-law too. And I think she had a really good time also. And I hadn't met her before. So it was good to meet Darlene too, Sean. Thank you for bringing her. Um, and yeah, I hadn't seen you in a long time either. So it was, it was. I was saying what fun we had last night at Bingo. Um, okay, so yeah, anyway, I cased this card, pretty much did exactly the same, only I changed the, the card base. Okay, so thank you, Joey Hartman, for your idea. I love swapping. <laughs> oh my gosh, you come up, like in that case, I think I made 20 or 26, I can't remember. But basically, I made the one card, 26 of the exact same card, and then I got 26 new ideas. It's the most fabulous thing ever. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting everything out. You know what? I think I need to just get the big shot. Let's see. We're going to stamp this Happiest Christmas Witches because then we can, we're going to need to... Um, die cut that so let's do that so sean you know what you should have um your mother-in-law darlene watch this demonstration um because i didn't realize that she hadn't stamped very much i would have given her more guidance last night although i think you were giving her lots of guidance too but it might help her to see how i put this card together so that she might feel a little more confident in putting it together or you know cards in general putting them together next time she does that. Okay, let me grab the big shot. And let's see, I gotta move a little bit out of the way here, right? Okay, so I've got my magnetic platform. We are gonna do our happiest Christmas wishes. We're gonna put that guy in there. Now I have to show you guys, this um, that we're gonna use, the label is actually from the Merry Christmas Thinlets dies. So totally separate set of dies, but I love. They have two different size labels. And so backwards, this one says Christmas, this one says holidays, merry and happy. And then they've got that little framelit right there. And then I always try to keep myself organized. There is the larger framelit label. So we're going to use, so it's funny, honestly, I love these words, but I think I love the label framelits just as much. <laughs> so you might need to get that merry Christmas thinlets just so you can get these little labels too because I've been, I've used this quite a bit. Okay, so, and look at that. See, there's this magnetic platform. The field is like making it wing all over the place. So you just have to move your paper so you don't fight it. Okay, so that's that one there. Then I'm gonna grab a piece of gold foil paper. I will tell you, I cut this. I was like laughing last night with the ladies. Like this paper is at a premium because you only get two sheets of it. Sorry, I just rocked that a little bit. Well, hi, Nancy, how are you? What is she saying? I can see all of these later. Ah, oh yes, you just remembered. Well, yeah, you can always watch um, later too. That's the fun of it, right? And then get measurements and everything that you need to know too. Okay, so this is what I was saying though, was like, okay ladies, you gotta put this reindeer way over on this side of the foil because you still need to have room to punch out your two leaves. Now at home, you can do whatever you want, but at class, I only had a like a set amount because I didn't have any more of this copper foil paper. So I was like, okay, you only get one sheet. You gotta 
make the most of it. So it's good, you know, this copper foil, like I said, you only get two sheets anyway. So you wanna make the most of what you have. Okay, so we are gonna run this, sorry, that is wiggling some. I'm gonna run this back and forth a few times because I wanna make sure, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so yeah, just turn your head away for a sec while I do this. This is to help me make sure it cuts all of the reindeer antlers out really well. Obviously this one's super simple and easy and you can pop that right out, right? But then this is the one I like to make sure comes out. So there, that's good, right? We've got that. Now I'm gonna grab my Big Shot die brush. Ha, huh, Nancy's been making Christmas cards. Awesome. Well, I don't know, around here it's already feeling like we could do that, I think, with the weird weather we've had. It's kind of kind of overcast and dreary today. So, oh my gosh, seriously, that thing's going nuts, isn't it? So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna grab my paper piercing tool, because I think I might need that, and we're gonna pop him out. So I just kind of pop like his body and head, get those, and then kind of carefully. But you can see how easily and perfectly that comes out, right? I'm gonna put that right there so you can see it. Right? Okay, so we'll move these guys out of the way. I've got my reindeer. Oh, I actually, so I want to emboss this other, I'm going to give you dimensions in just a sec, but we're going to emboss this piece with the subtle embossing folder. So let's grab that. I should probably shouldn't have it right there because that's where the big shot goes. So this just gives it a little bit of texture to our paper. Way back when we sold paper that had texture to it, now we can just add it to any paper that we want. And you guys know about the line along there, right? So it kind of helps us make things straight. Okay, so line that up, pop it in your folder. I have my regular Big Shot platform and then just one clear um, cutting pad on top. You only need one with these thick, right? These are the thick embossing folders, so you just need one. And then, get this stuff out of the way and I'll show you the texture on here okay so maybe I can angle it a little bit more so you can see can you guys see that the texture on there isn't that cool kind of makes it a little bit scratchy and there's actually this is kind of the raised side and then that's kind of the debossed so debossed and embossed sides there okay uh, measurements for this project again our card basis is tranquil tide cardstock our eight and a half by 11 cardstock, full piece of cardstock, cut it in half again at five and a half inches, score it in half again at four and a quarter inches. Okay, there's our fold for our card. Then this is our, this is Sahara sand. Oh, that's getting all wonky there, isn't it? Okay, Sahara sand cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's gonna go on the top. And then same measurements for the inside of our card. Whisper white piece that also measures four by five and a quarter inches. That's gonna go right in here with our stamp, okay? Then we have a piece of, this is the Joyous Noel designer series paper with that pretty copper foil accent. And then just another pretty tranquil tide um, design on the back. This designer series paper measures two and a half by four inches. And I think that's all we need in terms of sizing. Okay, my adhesive, so I'm gonna put this guy, my snail's being kind of funny. I'm gonna put this guy on the bottom of this. And you know what, I feel like it smushes it. It makes it a little bit bigger um, when you emboss. So it's almost like you wanna trim this to be a little bit, not quite as wide, but that's okay, somehow, yeah, that'll be good. And then where's my ribbon? Right here. <clears throat> this is our Tranquil Tide ribbon. So I'm going to show you guys the cheater bow because I think this is kind of handy. It saves a little bit of ribbon too, I think, but it's also just kind of a handy thing to know about. So I just put a little bit of, I basically put a strip of ribbon and I tack it on the back. Let's do a quick, yep, that looks even. I normally double check that, ladies, and I was trying to live dangerously and not flip it over and make sure, but then I had to. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna pop this one right on here, okay? And then, totally separately, just keep it on the bolt, I think that's the easiest way, we're gonna just tie a little knot. So slip that underneath and then 
tie our ribbon in a knot. And we're going to kind of slide it down there a little bit. And we'll trim it where we want. Get that. Okay, I gotta make it, I gotta angle it a little bit. That one there and that one there. There we go. Those little bits out of the way. Now we need, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our reindeer and our happiest Christmas wishes. So I just filed my fingernails and I can't pick anything up now, and it's kind of driving me crazy. So we're gonna use a little mini dimensional kind of on the reindeer's head. I did not put any adhesive on those. So you just have to be a little bit careful to not catch them on anything, I guess. And put a couple more on our reindeer and then a couple on the back of this guy. Okay, and I'm realizing I need to do the inside, but we'll do that in a sec. Get that stamping. Okay, oh, I'm forgetting. I'm like, I knew there was something else that we needed to do. Okay, so don't apply. I'm not going to put that one yet. I'm going to put this reindeer on though. He's going to kind of be leaping right about there. Oops, you know what I forgot? I forgot to peel off the back. I'll do that later. That's okay. That other, the little mini one, right? Oh, let's see what's Philomena. The shortcut on the ribbon. Oh, well, I'm glad. I don't know if you've seen that before, but yeah, that's kind of a handy little trick. Sometimes people kind of have a problem tying the bows too, so that's helpful. A little bit easier way to do it. Now, okay, this is what I was saying. We had to have enough room on our little piece of, our three by four piece of copper foil to get a couple of those leaves and you can see I did it right okay so we are gonna put I'm gonna use this as my silicone mat because I forgot it put our adhesive on the back of these little guys okay and let's see we're gonna put one maybe try right about there oops I did peel those off already we're gonna pop that there and then I'm gonna kind of slip this underneath before that gets stuck down too well well, that didn't quite work. It got stuck to itself. Isn't that funny? The best laid plans. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that's not falling off the card. The edge of it, I guess I should say. So, there we go. That is our next card. Oh, no, we're not done yet. We got to stamp our sentiment. So, I'm going to grab my Tranquil Tide ink again and my stamp. Let me make sure I've got it going the right. There. Now we won't be upside down. It's actually a little bit crooked on that. We'll see. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna flip it over. That was kind of going uphill. We'll see if I can do it. That looks a little bit better. Good enough. So you guys know that even, so our thick, well, this is not even thick. This is our regular Whisper White cardstock. It's all thick enough that you can't see through the back there, especially when you put it on a card. If you hold it up to the light, you may be able to see through it, but you're gonna put it on this card on the inside so you never know. So there we go, remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. And there is our second card, our second project for today. Okay, so let me do a quick recap in case you're new to Facebook Live. Oh, thank you, Mary, I'm glad you liked that. I don't know if you heard me say these were the make and takes that we made at Bingo last night, so. We're always stamping cute stuff. Come see me, come play with me, you guys, if you're local here. Okay, so to recap, if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you are gonna get these two projects that I demonstrated. Thank you, Tammy. And your name is gonna go into the drawing to win both of these, the striped treat bags and the pillow boxes, okay? Make sure you used host code UCQE VD29. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment from me. So potential to get tons and tons of free stuff with an online order. You just go to stampinup.com, put your order in at the end in your shopping bag, you use that host code. It's really simple. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you. So thank you so much for watching. I had a great time showing everybody all these projects today. It always lifts your spirits, right? On kind of a dreary, cloudy day, at least around here, to play with fun things. Um, it kind of just makes you not even worry about what's going on outside, right? So thank you guys. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.